Hello everybody, it's me again, Noyon. So I heard you want to be the next asset hunter. So here's a little video about how I find things, how I identify things, how I increase my chances, and we're gonna also apply all of it to find an asset from a trailer. Big disclaimer, buying assets or using pre-made assets is fine. The problem I have, if they misrepresent a game or only using pre-made assets, because there's a lot of problems with that, like not matching art styles or not having an identity, stuff like that. I'm just trying to find an asset because it's kind of fun to do. That's about it. So first, let's increase our chances to find an asset. Look for a game that is on a budget. Because often AAA games or big games, they just make everything on their own to make a proper art style. And more often than not, smaller games, first projects, or games on a budget, they use pre-made assets. The other thing is, look for a genre that requires a lot of assets. Things like MMOs are a prime example. They require many, many characters, NPCs, enemies, locations. To make an MMO feel like a big world, you need an absurd amount of assets. So often, they tend to just get bought stuff. Check trailers that are maybe the only trailer or an early look into a game, or feel like a vertical slice. What is a vertical slice? It's if you have a game, but you wanna show something off, but the game is not finished. What you do is you take a small slice from the game and make it look as good as possible. So then that one small vertical part of your game looks really nice to show off. So you can make a trailer with it. Often, to make them look nice, they just buy assets and put them in. A game where it didn't happen, for example, was Lies of P. Lies of P looked really, really good. The graphics are crazy. And turn out, the game just looks like that. So yeah, and that does not always apply. Another thing to look at is not showing a lot of gameplay or clearly scripted gameplay. That is a good indicator of it might having bought assets in it. Because if you don't have a gameplay and you want to make people aware of your game, might as well make some pretty stuff. Might as well make a pretty scene and make some camera movements around it and show it off. So how do I identify a possible asset? The easiest and also the hardest thing is just know the asset. This is the easiest way to identify it, but it's the hardest to acquire this skill, I would say. You need to be doing this for a while or be in the industry or just being around the asset or the store so you can just identify it quickly. Here's a dead giveaway of uh, asset being bought often. It feels out of place. It's maybe like wrongly scaled or the graphics look different or the fidelity is not the same or the art style is completely wrong. Another thing is, is it a simple put the asset here situation? What I mean with that is, try to find the perspective from a developer. You want to show something off, but you're missing it. So you just plop in one thing. Is this easy to just put in? If the answer is yes, there might be a chance that it's a pre-made asset. And one of the other really bad giveaways is, did you already find that asset previously? Because if they're using it once, they might as well have more stuff. If they bought a thing and put it in, there's a good chance that they did it more than once. So you will probably start to recognize more and more and find more and more. How to actually find the asset. After looking through the trailers of Palworld, I found a bunch of things that looked a little bit out of place, but I couldn't find any of them and then I landed on this crafting table here so this crafting table not only looks like oh that's just a one-time deal just put it in that I said before and so so that put that asset here applies also while well, Palworld has character customization this crafting table looks too tall but the character can barely reach onto it so this just might be a placeholder for a crafting table so now we're gonna look for a unique shape or a point of interest. Something we can recognize fast, so we don't need to compare two images all the time. Wooden table, black boxes with the opening to the front. And what we're specifically gonna point of interest here is the towel that hangs over the corner to the top right. So with that, we can really easily identify it. If you have a towel on a black box, it should be it. Okay, now we're gonna look for names. Before we do anything, we're gonna have to remember what kind of names could this asset have workshop crafting table crafting bench or smithy is the one i landed on the reason we need this is because we don't know what they called it when they uploaded it what if they called the crafting table in the game 
but they called it smithy on some kind of asset store. So the first thing we do is we're going to use Google Lens. Google Lens is an image reverse searcher by Google that got updated in the last couple of years quite a bit. It's actually pretty good for this. So what you do is you just right click anywhere in a website and you click search images with Google. Now you just draw a rectangle around the workbench and Google will already give you some results. This might not always work and it's very context sensitive. So there's a character in the front, so maybe we're just not going to find it. Or the character has more prominence than the workbench, and then we will find the character instead. In this case, we found a lot of Palworld stuff because it's that orange hair girl that's pretty easy to see. So Google Lens doesn't work here. We don't even find a single workbench. Next thing, Sketchfab. So why is Sketchfab so big when it comes to finding assets? And that is not only can you buy the assets here directly, but also it has a preview you can put on other websites. So let's say you sell a pack of tables. You might as well upload the tables to Sketchfab just for preview. You cannot download it. And then you embed them on your store page. So people can now inspect the model in 3D fully and can decide on their own if they want to buy it or not. So even if stuff is on an asset store, it's often doubled up on Sketchfab. This is where our naming comes into play from before. Looking for the different names that we looked up. As you can see, we find similar things, but it's clearly not it. We're looking for a point of interest, our towel. Also, a big problem here is the word crafting table. It's because Minecraft is so popular that I will override a lot of search results with Minecraft. Now for a more obvious approach is check the Unity Asset Store and the Unreal Engine Marketplace. You maybe think, why Unity? This is an Unreal game. Well, Unity and Unreal, while assets can be made specifically for the engine, often they can be exported or maybe they're actually uploaded as a raw model file. If you have a raw model file, putting it into the other engine is really, really easy. So we couldn't find anything on all the previous approaches. So we're ending up with Googling it. And Google Images is crazy good for this. As we can see here again, we have some issues with Minecraft being everywhere. And here's the thing on Sketchfab that we found before. But the good thing in Google Images is it gives you a lot of previews. It gives you previews and previews. And if you click an image, it gives you new ones. And Google is constantly trying to find what does this user need. And it turns out that the exact crafting table used in the trailer is actually on Sketchfab. And it's called Old Workbench. So there we go. We have the asset completely. Sadly, this asset is not for download. Maybe it's in another pack and they just use it as a preview here. So if you want to really want to go ahead and find where to get it from, you might want to look up the creator, other uploads the creator made, stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to just end it here. We found the asset and there we go. That's a plus one for us. Little heads up for Palworld. From what I understand, they actually replaced it. It was only in the trailer. The crafting table in the game actually looks quite different. It could be a late game upgrade table or something like that but I couldn't really find footage on it because the game is fairly new and it's hard to find specific footage. Now you are halfway done with being an asset hunter. The only way to now complete your asset hunter license is to actually find an asset. So go ahead and check some trailers and find some things. And if you find something and you want to share it with me or share it with the community, feel free to join the Discord. On there, we will post assets and trailers and things you find. Or if you just want to talk to me, you can join there too. You guys have been supporting me like crazy with the amounts of views and subs and comments. It's actually overwhelming. So if you want to see more of my content or more of my insights into things, make sure to subscribe. As always, I'll see you guys in our next video.